Hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to make an update, um, especially after my last one. Um, I know I said I was living in Denver and that I had met a girl and we moved in together. We broke up, unfortunately. Um, stupid of both of us to jump in to that after only knowing each other for about a month or a few weeks. Uh, but hey, it was, you know, it was all right while it lasted. We, uh, we had a kind of a bad breakup at first, but you know, uh, we were starting to get like really mean to each other. And so I, um, decided to take the first step to apologize and say, Hey, you know, we shouldn't uh, be this way to each other. Like we obviously cared about each other. So, you know, why are we doing this? So yeah. Um, sorry, I just got a notification that my battery's dying. So I gotta plug it in. But, um, so I've been in a hotel room for about a week because I was looking for a new sober living to move into. And so uh, I finally found a place I'm going tomorrow. It's all signed up and everything. So it's a little bit more um, structured and uh, maybe a little bit more strict than the last place. Um, uh, basically, the first place I went to, which was pretty ghetto in Santa Ana, um, there's just a lot of gang activity. There was a lot of using going on in the house and selling and all that. The house manager, this is just kind of a recap for those that haven't listened or heard my whole story. Um, the my house manager was a total piece of shit. He threatened me at one point. Like there was just a lot of bad stuff going on. And so, um, then I went to the second place, which was in a place called Loveland, Colorado, which was a fucking amazing, like fucking bougie, hella nice place cooking like nice ass meals for you. And it just wasn't very like realistic and the staff wasn't very equipped for handling conflict. And there were a couple of people in the house that I ended up having problems with as well as there's just like problems going on throughout the house, not just me. And so um, that one, you know, I, I learned something from each of them. And so then the third one, probably my least favorite of all of them, it was just my roommate was a fucking loser, dude. He was like 50 something years old, like barely had any teeth left. Like he could barely breathe. He was like snorting his prescription pills, like in the living room, like all this weird shit. And the program I was in, I just felt like it was very fake and I just wasn't into it. So that's when I met the girl and I was like, oh, perfect opportunity. She was like, you should move in with me. I was like, hell yeah. So, um, you know, like I said, we're still on good terms. We talk, um, who knows, maybe in the future we'll get back together, but she has a drinking problem, which she didn't tell me until I was there for a few days. And I was like, oh my God, like you kind of told me this, that, you know, now we have two addicts in the same house. So yeah, things weren't going great after a while. So yeah. That's where I am now, moving into the new place tomorrow. Still going to be in Colorado, but I was just, every once in a while, I go to the old videos and I kind of just like read the comments and stuff. And uh, I just saw a lot of people were asking for updates. And so I suggested, you know, that people check out my channel if they want to know. Um, it's funny because I keep thinking like, all right, this is like so far from the first interview when I got like 3 million views, like eventually it's going to fade away and nobody's going to care, but Seems like there's still some people that care, so whatever. Um, I'd eventually um, like to do something with my channel. Um, I've said this before, there's a guy, Brandon Buckingham, in Baltimore. There's another guy named Kegel Weagle in Austin, and they're really funny guys. They do, like, street interviews and stuff and different funny sketches, and I'd like to do that. Um, there's not, I mean, from what I've looked through and stuff, there's nobody really in Denver that does that, so I'd like to do that. Um, my ex said she's down to like film, so we'll see. Um, for now, I gotta focus on me and like getting back to sober living and everything, getting a job. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If anybody has any questions, ask me in the comments or add me on Instagram at two likes. There's, you know, the, that's the one thing, man, is there's a lot of people that they message me on Instagram like, oh, like, you know, pouring their heart out to me or saying how much it meant or how much they liked and like, like they want to talk to me and then it's like they send me like a couple messages and then they just die, they die out and they fade away and it's like, you know, whatever. I guess it's cool to have a couple few or a few couple few hundred, a few hundred acquaintances on Instagram, but I prefer legit human connection that's like long lasting or meaningful or at least you know, for the time we talk, like, something that's, um, I don't know, um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it, um, nothing really interesting to talk about, I'm watching basketball currently, oh, sorry, you're not gonna be able to see that, but, um, yeah, so, 
I will post an update as soon as I can. Just say a, say a pray for me. Uh, say, say a prayer for me. Or say what, do whatever you do. Just wish me luck that this next place works out great because I really want it to. And uh, I got to get a job. So we'll see where life goes from there. All right. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.